few reasons why it didn't happen. There were history books written, both of inquiry that looked into it, and the, the blame was both on the military leadership that didn't really take all the actions to prepare the army, but it was also lay on the shoulder of the political leadership. Moshe Dayan, uh, the enigmatic leader, he was then the Minister of Defense. And on Golda Meir, uh, both of them made a very serious error, which actually is not only their error, but the error of the country in general, which was a, a position of arrogance and feeling of it, um, omnipotency that they can prevail in any future war. And this was based on the miraculous victory in the 68 war, where the 67 war, the Six Day War, when um, Israel won um, heavy handedly against the, the Arab states, humiliated them. And uh, basically, uh, there was a feeling of contempt against the, the Arab soldier and the Arab leadership. This is a serious error. The only way to win a war is to take your adversary seriously. And uh, this is why uh, Israel wasn't ready. It's in many ways Israel's Pearl Harbor, but uh, Israel did prevail. Uh, but the cost of the victory 
Israeli tanks were destroyed by little men. 
Temple 1. 
this was say difficult for me because the military makes you learn that you obey orders. But I needed to constantly assess the situation and make sure that I make the decisions which I
Thank <laughs> you. 
released from the hospital. I had people to talk to. People who share their experiences. It has been for me a lifelong experience. Even last week, when I met the, the medic over in Los Angeles and talked to him, we were able to share things and help us process this throughout our lives. I had an uncle who survived the Second World War as a partisan and as a Polish soldier. When he came to Israel in the 50s, he was already in his late 40s. The only thing that my uncle Aaron talked about was the Second World War. Now I was only 16 and I thought this uncle must be very strange. This war happened 15 years ago. Get over it, go on. But no, the only thing he talked about 
decision. Hopefully that book will help others and to understand and accept it. And the Uniform Services University, where I taught for many years, have adopted that book for the use of their students in the military. I also wrote a book about my experience as a patient with cancer that is also available here for you. So I want to thank you for your attention and I'll be very happy to answer and entertain any questions that you will have. Thank you. I too serve.